Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to continue the series on the most missed math questions. And for this time, we're going to talk about how to solve inequalities. So when you solve an inequality, it's really just the same thing as solving an equation, except when you get your solution, it has many values instead of just one. And when you solve it or represent what is your solution, you're either going to represent it on a number line or you're going to actually graph it. And today we're going to talk about just the ones that you represent on a number line. So when you do that, there's two things to keep in mind. If your inequality has a less than or a greater than symbol on it, you're going to use an open circle as part of your solution. If it has a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to symbol, you're going to use a closed circle when you graph it. So let me go through a couple examples to show you what that means. So I chose a pretty simple inequality here. It says solve x plus 4 is greater than 8. So we're going to solve it just like an equation. We're going to subtract 4 from both sides. And I have a solution of x is greater than 4. Basically, instead of an equal sign, you have an inequality. And so what that means is I need to graph this on a number line. So I'm going to draw a number line here. And usually what I like to do is I just put my solution number in the middle, and then I just start representing the numbers after that and before it. Just so that I have a number line there. And so, like I said in the previous slide, if you have a greater than or a less than symbol, you use an open circle. So I'm going to use an open circle over the number that I found as my solution. And I need to find all the numbers that are greater than 4. And so all the numbers that are greater than 4 is everything over here. And I'm going to draw an arrow to represent that. What this tells me is that the solution to my inequality is any number that's greater than 4. The open circle represents the fact that it doesn't include the number 4 itself. So let's look at another example. This time I have a two-step inequality, which means I need two steps to solve it. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 10. And 11 plus 10 is 21. Now I need to divide both sides by 3. And I get x is less than or equal to 7. So again, it's an inequality, so I need to graph it on a number line. So I'm going to draw a number line. I like to put my solution number in the middle. And I'm going to draw numbers or write numbers in on either side. So 8, 9, and then 6, 5, 4. If you want to include more, you can. I just like to include a couple. And so I have a less than or equal to sign. That means I have to have a closed circle. And then I want all the numbers that are less than or equal to 7. So any number that's less than or equal to is over in this direction. The closed circle represents the or equal to part of my inequality. It represents that 7 is actually a solution to my inequality. Any number that is 7 or less is an answer. So I hope that when you get to solving inequalities, you remember that it's solved just like an equation, except instead of an equal sign, you have an inequality. If you have a less than or a greater than symbol, you use an open circle. If you have a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to symbol, you use a closed circle. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.